everybody, this is Brian with the VIP Sound Check, and I am very honored to have one of my favorite bands. Right here, we are up in Ontario, Canada, and I'm here with Fortunate Losers. And guys, yeah. thank you so much for being with me. What up, baby? Yeah. Absolutely. I'm going to have each of you, don't mind, introduce yourself and what who you are in the band. Touch it, dude. Touch it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the old man. I take care of things. That's his name, actually, officially, the old man. Yeah. That's Todd, Todd Page, and he's a sound technician engineer. <laughs> My name's Devin. I'm a singer, guitar player, songwriter, partial songwriter. <laughs> I'm uh, Dev number two. I uh, play the drums. I pack the Miller Lights for the boys. <laughs> That's an important job. My name is Brent. I play bass and show up. That was nice. my wallet. <laughs> I'm Brad, and I... Uh, Play the guitar. <laughs> the guitar, nice. Yeah. And so we're up here. You guys are actually in a competition tonight. So this is pretty cool. Uh, if you guys wouldn't mind describing what this competition is about and, and what it means to you guys as a band. This is mine. This is the Road to Revelry. Um, this is, I guess, the first... I guess this is the first competition that we'd be in for this festival. And um, if we move on, we'd get to do the second one. But this is a Sarnia based festival to uh, ch for a chance to open up for the Goo Goo Dolls or the Trues this summer for their biggest festival of the summer. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Now, how long have you guys been together as a band? Uh, yes, the answer is nine years. <laughs> is it nine? Is it nine? No, it's, is it nine? it's nine years this year, ten years next year. Nice. Nine <laughs> years, ten years, wow. like the band. Last year. That's been impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Math guy. Still here. Oh, yeah. Still here, baby. Still here, baby. Nice. Well, the cat is closing, and I'm stuck here frozen. Yet I can't escape my ear. And still the world's divine. Now, you guys actually released your, well, say your second album not too long ago. Um, and how has that been received by people and how do you guys feel, you know, getting that out there and letting everybody hear what you've been working on? I know you've been working on it for a few years. I'm going to let Devin take this one. <laughs> Which Devin? <laughs> um, this is our second full length. We actually had an EP in between and, um, we're, we're pretty happy with it, with, with the outcome of the record. I mean, it, it, we're faced with the challenges every band's faced with, with putting it out in the interwebs and just trying to get plays and just trying to get attention, right? But it's, 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 it gets buried quickly, you know what I mean? But I mean, uh, we're pretty fortunate to be where we are today. And it's a solid record. Solid record. We're really solid. happy with it. We put a lot of time, a lot of effort into it, you know, and we're really happy with it. And nice. uh, we're really happy with the outcome. And yeah, we got a uh, music video coming out, our last music video for the record, in support of the record. Very cool. Coming out, uh, but the uh, the release date is unknown at this time. <laughs> <laughs> so what song, Devin? Suitcase. <laughs> Tuesday night When the city lights your Every step you choose Kind of choose you to Pack your things Nice. Nice. So suitcase and I'll let you guys know once it's released. Of course, we'll, we'll let you all know that that's coming out. Now, listening to all the songs, and, and my brother's here with me. We guys have loved the album that you put out. My favorite has been Gravity, so from the new album. So for you guys, do you all have a, a separate favorite song from it, or is there something that you all like performing live together best? I agree with you, uh, Gravity on top of my list but uh was told we weren't allowed to play it tonight you know the venue's too small it's too heavy well that's a bunch of bs we're playing so, uh... Yeah, 
Yeah, Gravity, uh, Bigger Wings is another one. It wasn't released as a single. Um, but I think that one's a sleeper, probably. Everyone should check that yeah. one out. Brad, what do you think? What do you think, Brad? I personally think Taste is the the sickest song in the record. Yeah, I'm That is a good you. song. I, I couldn't agree more. That one knocked me out when I heard it. Nice. How about the rest of you? See, I'm indifferent. Uh, I don't know. I really like Miles, but I also oh, I love them all, man. Um, I have to go with Miles and Bigger Wings for okay. myself. Yeah. What about you, Dan? Ooh, this is a tough one for me. The whole record, like, I don't know, like, I find myself when I'm driving myself and I'm just just in, into the record. I don't know. Like, I I like. Because it's not my idea. I, I like the interludes, like both of them. Like okay. the, either the intro or the okay. binaries. Yes. Like I'll find myself like listening to them more. Nice. Even though they have nothing to do with <laughs> like, like, you know what I mean? Like but but uh, I'll still I still with those. Yeah. Nice. And you guys can may you really love the cuss on the Ab- Absoluma. We'll just go ahead and beep it out. It's all good. <laughs> Absoluma. Beep it out with a goof. <laughs> so rock and roll bands still aren't any more better behaved than they ever That's were. True. That's true. That's true. We're pretty well behaved. I was going to say, this has been, behaved. we've had fun, but it's been pretty, pretty mild by like comparison. It's kind of just part of our uh, culture a little bit <laughs> up in the north, you know? That's right. You know, that's a good point. I, yeah. I want to ask you guys about that. You're from Northern Ontario, so pretty far up north for for the most part. And so, up tree line almost. Hey, buddy. <laughs> 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 you do be true. <laughs> now, how do you think your guys growing up where you did? How do you think that that influenced your music as a band? <laughs> I don't, like honestly, geographically, I don't think like it has other than the fact that I met. These guys mm-hmm. up there, Jesus. Oh, he's got a good that's a, that's a straight up lie. <laughs> <laughs> because I guarantee breaking news here. <laughs> I guarantee the majority of Americans that'll see this video don't know Our Lady Peace or Billy Talent or Matt Good are. Hey, I know Our that's Lady true. Peace. I, I know you would. <laughs> but do you know Matt Good? I do not. Yeah, but you Bi- sure I'm sure you know that. Billy Talent. That's true. Too, right? That's true. <laughs> but either way, those are three. That's true. I mean, like, I'm not as big of a Matt Good fan, but Dev is a huge Matt Good fan. And the other two bands I mentioned are huge here in Canada, but in the States, maybe not so much. Sure. So those bands have a, a big influence on us. Nice. Same with uh, Big Rec and Thornley. Okay. Yeah. And, and that was one of the things I wanted to talk about. And you guys may remember, I actually interviewed Devin on a previous channel. We talked about some of these things. But now that we've got the full band, I want to ask you guys. So when I listened to you at first and... I heard a lot of Soundgarden. You know, I, I heard that it's, you know that kind of sound. What has been some influences that have influenced you guys? Take the wheel, bud. Allison Chains. <laughs> what do you got? Allison Chains. <laughs> no, I, I'm, well. I was waiting for you Allison to say Johnny Chains, Cash. Tones, Pretty much. Are the top three. What he said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much everything from the '90s. Deftones, and my God, man! Anything I'm leaving out? There's, there's a lot of influ- influences. They come from every- everywhere too. Sure. Like they're not all '90s grunge bands. You know, we'll pull influences from all over the place. Even some newer bands that are coming out. Like, but uh, yeah, the big three that I'll always mention when people ask are Soundgarden, Alice in Chains, and Deftones. Nice. I personally have always heard and a little more lately um, some Stone Temple Pilots in your stuff. Okay. It's very subtle. I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah. it. It's under and, there. And my bro- my brother, my brother growing up would would always he was like I, he had the first Thornley CD that I found right. So he he was he's not very musically inclined, but he was always had a good ear for music. And when I first heard Thornley, I was like, damn. You know, I mean, like, like, and and then I started, like, he always had a good ear for music, so I'd always gravitate to what my family kind of listened to, and it kind of, like, sure, worked its way up the chain, right? Nice. 
And even though I say, like, I heard that influence in, and, and the other bands that you mentioned, you guys have a unique sound in and of yourself. And that's one of the things that I love is that every song is a little bit different. It's not the same thing over and over. And so when you guys sit down and, and you write a song, where do you pull inspiration from when you're actually writing the, a new song? Promise to everything I don't That's a tough one, Brian. Um, what's going on in life? I mean, uh, all these things. Uh, it's hard, though. I, I mean, what, what brings inspiration to me when writing music? I mean, uh, Brad probably different. Everyone's probably different. But I mean, like, usually what's happening in our lives at the time and 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 how we perceive it, right? And we try, try to put it put it on paper, and you know, people with it people pull it people people tear it up and you know what it, and then it becomes something something much greater than what we anticipated at the beginning right sure kind of just goes with like like you were saying like however you're feeling whether it's you're writing lyrics or even <laughs> if you're just playing like if you grab a guitar however you're feeling will be how you play so if you play something that you dig then pitch it and then it goes from there pretty much in a nutshell yeah Makes sense. Very cool. Now, we were kind of talking before we had the interview, and we were joking around a lot of, you know, things that we grew up listening to, and it's amazing that, you know, me growing up in the States, and then you guys, of course, growing up in northern Ontario, does it, what does it mean to you guys to represent, well, now I'll say Canadian rock, and I know that's kind of a, a broad term, but what does that mean to you guys to, to represent, come down here I know this competition, a lot of the bands that are competing are more of like the country element, and you bring that rock element, so how important is that to you? It's not something uh, different or anything. It's just like I've always, like like myself personally, and I can't answer for these guys, but um, it's always just been like be there. Be there for your, for, for, for your fan base and, and be good at what you do. And, and and be like like provide the longevity that that people need to actually fall in love with the band and stay in love with the band. Sure, that's always been super important to me. And like when, when you when you say about the Canadian thing, I mean like the, the Canadian thing it isn't all that different than the American thing. It's just like there's just less of it up here. Sure, it's just oh, yeah. it's just like more folky and poppy and like it's just like we just want to go back to our roots. Not not be something spectacular or something that's never been done before. It'd just be something solid that people can rely on. Yeah. Good music. Yeah. You know, they know where it's coming from. They know it's coming from a good place. Sure. It's kind of... I, I can personally tell you that these guys give 110% every night. Or they hear about it for miles and miles. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the song. Yeah. <laughs> Todd's like the dad you had, you know, you just, you hold the flashlight for him, but you could never hold it quite right. <laughs> <laughs> and he yells at he you. He just kind of yells at you until you cry. Quite right. <laughs> He's like, get the damn flashlight. <laughs> Parenthetic scorn with a, a solid uh, dish of love. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's fair. And of course, we talked about the performance coming up tonight. And of course, I've seen you guys perform once, and it was fantastic. You guys, if you get the opportunity to see them live, you have to. When you're up on stage and you've got a crowd in front of you, how does that motivate you guys? Do you, do you feed off the energy of the crowd when you're performing live? Personally, I love it, but we'd play just the same if it's 10, 100 people, you know, 300 people, as long as we can leave a good impression on two or three people and give somebody a good night. That's what it's all about. Sure. Yeah. Very true. <laughs> uh, I'd have to agree Very true. fully. Yeah. The, uh, having a bigger crowd definitely makes it easier to find that energy in yourself because you can just use theirs, you know, feed off theirs. Uh, but again, if it's, uh, if we're playing for our dogs, like we're still giving it, yeah. you know, <laughs> 
and different rooms bring different challenges. You know what I mean? Like this room tonight is very challenging. Just, sure. just looking at it, being being doing what I've been doing for sixteen years, seventeen years now, I can wow. see that it's it's challenge. <laughs> it, it, it'll wrong, be a challenge. It is a different maybe, room though, eh? But we're gonna do it all the same. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna try anyway. So it's gonna, gonna be awesome. Nice. <laughs> And we talked about the new videos coming up soon, and it's going to be released. Do you guys have new music that you're working on, or do you have a new EP or something in mind? Or Everything we have right now is just stuff that probably wasn't ready for the album that just came out, if anything. like There's plenty, well, not plenty, but there's still a decent amount of stuff, like a good four or five songs worth that we could put out, but I wouldn't really want to. Not quite ready yet, but there's definitely there's there's definitely stuff there, hundred percent. Yeah, just like we're starting to work on some some ideas here and there. We have lots of ideas. It's just, do we get a producer involved? Do we start that again? Like we're still kind of trying to promote this record. Like we're still torn between like the finishing of wrapping this guy up, like because we spent so much time and effort into this guy, right? Sure. So we're we're, we're still like torn between like. Sh 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 should we spend the extra energy and all that stuff and just, just finish kicking this out properly or go into new writing new stuff? And I, I find, like, the balance is, is kind of healthy, but we're, we're starting to get into the new ideas and, and starting to uh, work away at those. Nice. Nice. And I got to tell you guys, I mean, I, I've seen them now a couple times. I'm pumped to see them again tonight. If you like true rock, you are going to love these guys. I'm going to put all the links below so you can check out all their stuff. Guys, I want to thank you for spending this time with me and my brother. This this has been a blessing. Thank it's you, been man. Awesome. Hey, Absolutely. Yeah. Thank both of you. Out. Absolutely. Good, Is there anything that you guys would like to say to fans? And I'll, I'll kind of toss it to each of you before we sign off. We'll start with the old man. We'll start with the old man. <laughs> uh, just, you know, to the rock and roll fans, the people who still come out to the rooms every night and see people pour their souls out. It's so important, and it's I've, I've seen it come and go. I've been doing this a minute, and uh, did, there seems to be a healthy energy lately of people who actually want to be part of something real. Because let's face it, it's a pretty auto tuned world out there. Yeah. And and I think why these guys do as good as they do most nights is because the crowd can feel their honesty and their realness, and. You know, so to true rock and roll fans out there, keep going, man. I'm, like me personally, I'm going to try to be more real and true, like Todd Sand. I mean, that's what's most important. And uh, like he says, like I, I too am noticing more people are, are starting to live for experiences rather, um, you know, it, it purchases. You know what I mean, like they, they want to go out and see something. Well, this band is true. It's real. It's not going anywhere. It's solid. Um, and we make good music, so uh, check us out, right? Absolutely. I guess for people listening, get out in your local scene and go to as many shows as you can, even if it's not your niche, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, expand your music horizons. You'll meet people, get together, start playing. Like, it doesn't need to be anything more than just getting together and playing music. Yeah. You know, I was lucky enough to meet these guys uh, a couple years ago now, and and having a blast and more people like me could be doing it you know sure just, I, I like that a lot and I, i've learned a lot from that just kind of going out there and experiencing music that you didn't think you'd like and you're like this is awesome yeah yeah and it only adds to your your inspiration you know it might inspire you to create something different that you yeah. thought was capable Straight up. <laughs> he's like pass <laughs> how do i follow that <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I forgot the question. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the question too, so it's okay. <laughs> what was the question? I don't know, I'm lost now too. Pretty much what would you say to fans? Their answers are all so beautiful. <laughs> if 
I could say anything to fans, man, it would just be thanks. Really, like, nine years, almost ten years of support. So that alone is just worth it. It's worth so much. So, like, just thanks to fans, really. I feel like uh, these guys pretty much said it all. So I'll just take this minute to, to thank you for, for doing this with us and coming out all the way up here, crossing the border to see us multiple times now it, yeah, it yeah. Uh, they got it, held up at the border at gunpoint <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. another whole video <laughs> yeah but uh yeah thank thank you both for coming up and we appreciate you big time and sure yeah you know we uh definitely wish the best for your interview uh thank you business we'll say you got going and yeah just uh yeah thank you guys thank you I, we appreciate that and again this is always a blessing hanging out with you guys and this this is what we love to do is just to hear your stories and share it with folks and we want to thank you guys for spending this time with us big big time. Hey, let's we get really time. Beers, eh? <laughs> That's gonna be after that. this ends. But again, guys, thank you so much. Really appreciate this time, and we always appreciate when you guys spend this time with us. We love you all. God bless and rock on. Go Steelers. Yeah. <laughs>